In the last video I showed you 11 tips and tricks for the Huawei P20 and P20 Pro. Because you did ask for more, here are even more tips for your Huawei P20 and P20 Pro. The first series of tips are secret tips, so psst, don't tell anyone. You probably know the hidden application menu from old Huawei smartphones, but you can't find it anymore. The reason is that it's now hidden itself. With a small trick you can get it out of its hideout. For this you have to download an app called EMY Tweaker. Next to other hidden features you can select hidden application menu and turn it on, apply it and restart your device. By swiping your fingers away from each other, you'll get to the hidden application menu and can hide your apps here. That's not enough for you. Under settings, security and privacy, you have some more options where you can encrypt apps or create an encrypted data safe. More interesting however is the private space. This you have to activate first by creating a new pin and for example registering a new fingerprint, which is different from your main login data. When you unlock the phone with this, you'll get to the private space, a hidden private system in the system. Between these it is possible to exchange data or transfer apps. All your private apps and data is well protected here. What's also interesting is that the private space can also be transferred to other phones like you can do it with phone clone. Transfer is a good transition to Huawei Share. This can be activated in the notification bar or inside the settings under device connection. You can imagine it being like Apple's AirDrop. If your smartphone and your PC are on the same network, you can go to this PC folder and click on network in the side menu, where you in the best case can see your smartphone and have access to it. So you can move data between those without a cable. This also works between two Huawei smartphones. If you have two WhatsApp or other messenger and social media accounts where switching between accounts is not possible, the app twin feature is pretty valuable. Go to settings, apps and notifications where you can clone apps like WhatsApp with AppTwin, so you can use your second account. Here you can also give apps more rights or take them away and even choose your standard apps like your standard web browser. There you can also find the menu called notifications and status bar. Here you can hide your carrier name, display your battery life in percent or change the way that it is presented. You can also choose if notifications should be marked with a dot or with numbers and even choose to display your network speed. Next up there are 7 smaller quick tips. By swiping your fingers to each other on the home screen you can personalize the home screen. Most of it is self-explanatory. The best thing here is that you can choose multiple apps at once and move them all together. Inside the settings in the menu you can also activate the shaking feature which brings order to your home screen. In the themes app you can download designs and use them on your device. If you only like certain design elements, you can click on customize and choose for example the symbols of one design and the lock screen of another. In the settings under system, there is a simple mode. With this your phone won't become a Windows phone, but the layout of the home screen will be simplified, symbols and font sizes increased. If you don't have much battery life left, you can go to settings, battery to turn on the ultra battery power saving mode. This increases your runtime drastically since only the most important features are active and just a few apps run on the background. In the battery settings you can also activate darken interface colors to switch to dark mode for menus. You can touch the camera symbol on the lock screen and swipe up to open the camera, but if you swipe up the middle you can quick start some other features. You can for example open the recorder, turn on the flashlight, use the calculator and the timer as well as easily scan barcodes. Especially that is quite useful. Inside the folder called Tools is an app called Smart Remote. With this you can use the IR blaster of your device to use it as a universal remote control for your TV and more. The setup is quite self-explanatory. These were again some tips and tricks for the Huawei P20 and P20 Pro. Ask your questions in the comments and if you like this video feel free to give us a like, otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content and watch part 1 of this video if you didn't already. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.